my name is Darren Steen coming to you from FatLossLifestyle.com. I'm the creator of the Fat Loss Lifestyle 12 Week Body Transformation System. Here today to talk to you about one of the three major pillars of health. The three pillars of health are the foods that you eat, the thoughts that you think, and the exercise that you get. Everybody wants those ripped abs. Everybody wants to know how to have that dream body and that dream life. Well, nutrition is the biggest factor in that equation. And I'm here to talk to you today about gaining muscle and losing fat at the same time. It's not easy, but it's definitely possible. After you listen to this short little video, you'll have a much better idea on how to eat the foods that you eat correctly. Anybody can lose weight. Jared for Subway, he, he ate uh, hoagie sandwiches and lost 100 pounds but he doesn't look strong and healthy. There's a new McDonald's diet. Yeah, you can lose weight by limiting your calories, but we're talking about having energy. We're talking real energy, not a veteran or fat burners. We're talking about living strong and long. And bodybuilding nutrition comes down to four things. It's about less calories. You have to take in less calories than you're burning. It's, it's, a, uh, it's like a checking account. It's common sense in that aspect, but it's not easy. It comes down to quality calories. Try to get in more unprocessed foods, foods that don't come out of a box. If it's made in a plant, don't eat it. If it comes from a plant, eat it. My motto is lean, green, and marine. For the most part, it's just real general, but lean red meats, lean proteins, green uh, carbohydrates, vegetables, anything that, if it rots, it's good for you. And marine, uh, uh, quite a bit of fish is a great source of fat and protein. The second part of the nutrition equation is small meals often. To reach your true metabolic, true potential, you have to eventually eat three to four times a day. I'm sorry, every three or four hours, four or five or six times a day. Now, we can work up to that. You don't want to automatically jump into that if you're typical eating two meals a day. You just start out eating three meals a day, cut the meal portions in, uh, in half, and then eat more often. We work up to that. The, every, what everybody wants to know, the macronutrient profile of your meals. All that means is how much protein and how much carbs in each meal. In general, how many grams of protein you want, let's go small, medium, and large. For your smaller person, uh, women, or uh, smaller men under 150 pounds, 15 to 20 grams of protein every time you open your mouth. For the medium, a little bit bigger, let's say 150 to 180 pound person working out intensely, three or four times a day, 20 to 30 grams of protein. And for the big boys like me, I weigh about 200 pounds, I'm working out intensely, I got a lot of muscle mass, 30 to 40 pop, uh, grams of quality protein in each meal is a really good uh, target to shoot for. Now, grams of carbs, every meal needs to be combined together with the carb. For the, sm for the small portion, people, the women or the men under 150 pounds, maybe 50 to 100 grams of uh, carbs. Uh, for the medium, about 100 to 200 grams of carbs combined together with your protein. And for the, the large, the, the bigger size, 200 to 300 grams of protein in each meal every time you eat. Now, here's the key carb cycling. Let's try to split up your workouts. Let's do intense interval cardio first thing in the morning, two or three days a week. On those days, you eat only non-starchy carbs. Non-starchy carbs are vegetables, green beans, salads, apples, grapefruits, those types of carbs. On the other days that you do intense weight training two or three times a week, then we throw the starchy carbs in for two or three or four meals a day. Starchy carbs meaning quality sources, oatmeal, brown rice, wild rice, yams, sweet potatoes, maybe a whole grain bread, a healthy bread occasionally, and a, or a whole grain pasta. Those are starchy carbs that we want to throw in, in the in macronutrient totals we were talking about earlier, uh, two or three meals a day on weight training days. Switch it up. Don't do weights and cardio on the same day. For the most part, do your interval cardio first thing in the morning in a fasted state. Um, and throw in your non-starchy carbs that day. So carb cycling is absolutely one of the best kept secrets in uh, the bodybuilding circles and the fitness circles. This system, these ideas will work whether you're the veteran bodybuilder who wants to even out in between contests. It will work for the gym rat who just wants to take his or her physique to the next level. And absolutely this program, these ideas will work for sedentary people who have never worked out before. All right, so now I want you to go to fatlosslifestyle.com. If you're using MySpace, I'm sorry, YouTube, you can go over here to the right and you can hit the link and just take two seconds, give me your first name and email address. If you want many more free reports and uh, programs on absolutely how to get the best body of your adult life. Remember, it's the foods that you eat, the thoughts that you think, and the exercise that you get. I'll talk to you real soon and have a great day.
Visit MajorLeagueHealth.com right now to get your free 12-week body transformation video series, which normally sells for $199.97. Yours absolutely free right now as long as you click the link over to your right in the description box or go to MajorLeagueHealth.com. You absolutely do have the power to change. What are you waiting for?